Six weeks ago, CATL, the Technology Award in Europe, 36 experts voted on the best technological innovation worldwide. Guess what won? CATL's new lithium ion phosphate batteries, which have a higher energy density, can charge at up to 500 kilowatt charging speeds, even in minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures. And they're also no more expensive than their previous lithium ion phosphate batteries. In other words, they are the cheapest batteries in the world. It's been reported by US media that Tesla will, in joint partnership with CATL, Chinese battery company, biggest in the world, open battery production lines at their factory in Las Vegas, Nevada, the Gigafactory in Nevada. It's been reported these batteries will be used for mega packs. So Tesla's enormous energy storage battery products, which use lithium ion phosphate batteries. But I, I think you'd have to be a bit insane to believe that story. I think Tesla's just telling that narrative so it can keep Republicans off its backs. Republicans are trying to force the government to intervene, to prevent Ford from doing a similar deal with CATL. You can almost guarantee Tesla won't just use these batteries in mega packs. It'll be using them in new electric cars, in particular in the new Model 2. Tesla have just feel, revealed what is unquestionably their best decision in the past year. The United States car market is the most important car market for Tesla worldwide. And China is very important, but it's definitely the US where Tesla makes a huge amount of profit, but it sells them the largest number of vehicles. And it's where Tesla pays more money for batteries than anywhere else. The price Tesla pays for lithium ion phosphate batteries that it gets from CATL in China is insanely low. Uh, many people believe it's at around 80 US dollars per kilowatt hour, meaning a fraction of the price it pays for batteries from its Panasonic joint venture and for 4680 cells in the US. But now this decision to manufacture lithium ion phosphate battery cells at its factory in Las Vegas in Nevada will completely change Tesla's situation. Now I've been saying this would happen for a while now. It's nice to be vindicated, but to be honest, that's not really what I care about. What I care about is the success of EVs. This unquestionably will give Tesla a pricing advantage over its competition. It will make other car makers look silly. General Motors should have made this decision a long time ago. I've said this many times. You need to manufacture lithium ion phosphate battery cells at scale. And in particular, you need to make them in the US to qualify for battery incentives. This is a brilliant move. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. You probably heard this news by now, but it needs some context here. Tesla makes a profit on the EVs that it sells, but doesn't make a profit on the EVs that it sells with Panasonic batteries. No one knows. No one can say for sure. Tesla has never confirmed if they do, but we do know without a doubt, Tesla makes a significant, a very good profit on the EVs that it manufactures in China using CATL's lithium ion phosphate batteries. We also know Tesla has never had any problems with those lithium ion phosphate batteries. They last a long time. They last on average twice as long as the Panasonic made batteries in Tesla's vehicles in the US. On average twice as long. Now, does that mean Tesla's Panasonic made batteries don't last very long? Well, no, it doesn't. They last for a very long time. But we know from Chinese data that lithium ion phosphate battery cells are getting around cars that have done more than a million kilometers on the original battery packs. That's common. That's why taxi drivers drive them. If you look at taxis in China, a very large number of them use EVs that have lithium ion phosphate batteries in them. So that's where you can look for uh, some understanding of the benefits of, you know, the real true benefits of LFP battery cells. But the other big benefit is price to manufacture. The other big benefit here is you can charge these batteries to 100%. There's a lot of benefits to LFP batteries. Uh, customers are starting to say, has, has that EV got LFP batteries? No, it doesn't. I, I don't want it. That's actually a comment that I've seen now hundreds and hundreds of times. People are saying, does it have, a, uh, does it have LFP? No, it doesn't. No, I'm not going to buy that. Because, I mean, it's really one of those situations where you don't want to be thinking, should I charge above 80%? Is that a concern? Uh, you, you know, with an NMC chemistry battery from most EV manufacturers, that they have in their vehicles, that is a concern that people have.
But with LFP, you're not thinking that. You're not thinking, am I, oh, should I not charge? I'm going on a road trip. Should I only charge to 80%? Or should I charge 100%? Oh, if I just do it a few times, it should be okay. Now, I know a lot of Tesla owners actually don't care about this and they just charge their NMC batteries to 100% anyway. And they seem to be fine for the most part. But this is one thing to consider. It's also worth considering what price will Tesla pay CATL? What do I mean by that? Well, what's going to happen is CATL are setting up a battery factory not a factory. I mean, Tesla already have the factory in Las Vegas, Nevada. CATL will set up battery production lines at Las Vegas, Nevada that will directly compete with Panasonic. Talk about putting the pressure on. This is such a genius move. I mean, I mean it's so smart, right? It's like setting up McDonald's next to um, KFC. And well, what happens? They have to compete. They have to, they have to compete for sales. This is exactly what's going to happen here. But CATL are going to come in, they're going to set up new battery production lines, lightning fast, Tesla don't have to do any of this, by the way, CATL are doing all this. Uh, CATL are coming in, setting up the battery production lines, Tesla staff will apparently run those production lines once they've been trained by CATL staff, Tesla don't have to do anything. And within months, Tesla will be getting lithium ion phosphate batteries in the US, which will qualify for battery incentives. It will mean the Model 3 in the US will qualify for the full $7,500 tax credit and Tesla will pay less for those batteries for the Model 3 and for other vehicles, well, for the new affordable Model 2 in particular, that's probably where they'll go. Tesla will use those batteries in their factory in Texas once they begin manufacturing the Model 2 there, which is where we made first. Very, very interesting here what Tesla have done with this, making this decision to probably put some pressure here on Panasonic to produce more batteries, because if they don't, uh, CATL will just do what CATL are already doing to Panasonic. I mean, look at battery sales last year worldwide. CATL grew its market share from 32% worldwide to 34.5%. That's massive. You own a third of the entire global battery market and you grow your market share. And guess who lost market share? Panasonic lost market share. And Panasonic is seeing this threat. Panasonic are very small in terms of global market share in comparison to CATL. They have around, I believe, 8% market share, which fell from 9% the previous year. Clearly, Panasonic know the screws are going to be turned and they need to get a move on. What is What do I mean by move on? Well, Tesla is saying to Panasonic, we want 4680 cells from you guys. We want high energy density 4680 cells for the Cybertruck, um, for other vehicles, potentially, maybe the new Tesla Roadster as well. We want them fast. And Panasonic have been kind of uh, not going to the speed I believe Tesla want them to. So this is a really smart strategic decision. You need to have competition. Without competition, you become complacent. What does this mean for Tesla? By the end of this year, probably by the end of this year, I would say possibly even sooner than that, Tesla will have multiple battery suppliers in the United States, multiple sources. They'll have 2170 cells, 4680 cells, lithium ion phosphate cells, all being manufactured in the United States, all qualifying for battery incentives. This is a really smart decision. What are your thoughts though? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.